Maya, nice to meet you, to have you in the Cinemartinique Festival. Thanks for having me. Your movie, She Paradise, is um, screened in the ending uh, session mm -hmm. of the festival on Saturday. And, um, well, the movie is about uh, a girl. It's about soca music. It's a girl who joined a group mm -hmm. of dancers. Yeah, so She Paradise is a coming-of-age story about a young woman in Trinidad who starts off feeling very isolated um, and misunderstood, but finds sisterhood, a meaningful sisterhood, through meeting a group of dancers. Um, these women dance in the soca carnival scene and you know she's embraced by the group but she also kind of works her way into it and as she starts touring and performing things spiral out of control and she sort of has to learn some tough lessons but also you know go through this journey of becoming autonomous and finding her voice and her you know place in the world as a as a young woman mm -hmm. um so at its core it's really a coming of age uh story um it's a story of sisterhood um, that I think you know uh, anyone at that kind of pivotal age of finding themselves can relate yeah. to. Why is it so important that that uh, topic of mm -hmm. isolation of uh, sisterhood mm -hmm. uh, why is it so important for you and mm -hmm. for uh, the people who will uh, mm -hmm. see the movie? Yeah I mean I think um, you know as women, there's so much of an absence of ourselves and our own stories uh, on screen, especially from our voices. I think, you know, there's a history of women being seen through the male gaze, um, and especially just, you know, there's so many different layers of exploring womanhood that come from this movie. Um, you know, in the fact that she's a black woman navigating the space, but also she's, you know, in a Caribbean space, and the complexity of that, um, and also, you know, staying true to the uniqueness of that experience. Um, the story was important for me, naturally, just because, um, you know, I experienced what it was to be, a, a you know, a teenager in a, in a Caribbean space, coming of age in that space. Um, finding myself, finding my voice, um, and and so the story, you know, felt close to me. Um, but it's also, you know, driven from this place of feeling like my I'm not seeing my stories on screen. I feel like I'm not seeing them in a way that feels true. Um, and so that was a huge drive of wanting to put a spotlight on this world mm. and, and bring it, you know, to screen. It's, um, you have started with a short film, mm -hmm. and then this short film has been adapted to a feature film. Mm -hmm. um, was that adaptation difficult? The transition was difficult until uh, we won a grant from the government of Trinidad uh, in 2018. Uh, so that year, uh, Trinidad was the host for Cari Festa, which is a huge Caribbean uh, celebration. And, um, you know, we were the host, uh, you know, after many years. So it, obviously, you know, there was a lot of investment into the arts at that time. And they gave out a couple grants to filmmakers, uh, micro-budget grants to make movies. Um, and so we were lucky in the sense that we got that grant. And once we did, you know, it really just kind of sped up the momentum around getting the film made. Um, and that happened soon after making the short. So, um, so that was a huge opportunity. Yeah, so I think everything just happened really rapidly from the short to the feature. But the process of making the short, there was a lot of waiting um, behind that you know, just getting, you know, the script in place because we wrote the feature length script first before even shooting the short. So it was about a year of talking and, and writing the script and, you know, figuring out how we could shoot a proof of concept. The, a lot of the waiting happened, like, before even shooting the short. So did you yeah. team up with a choreographer mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to screen it? It's a great question because it was... Uh, it was a kind of a twofold process. Uh, yes, I, I worked with a choreographer, uh, Shauna Mitchell, and I kind of gave Shauna a lot of freedom to choreograph the way she wanted. Um, I, you know, I described the world to her. She read the script, um, but it was important for me to attend all the 
dance rehearsal so that I knew the routines. Mm. Um, and by knowing the routines myself, it allowed me to short list and work with my cinematographer for the movement around what the, what the dance included. Um, and so there is this kind of nice symmetry between the movement of bodies and also the movement of the camera um, in relation to that. And you know, as a dancer, I think it was kind of exciting to, to, to take the process you know, into, that, into that, take movement from you know, the space into like a new space, you know, a filmic space. Um, so what's yeah. the importance for you um, about the music in a movie? Yeah, music, I think the score can shape a film in, in so many ways. I mean, I, I know that I wanted a score that really feels like the world and the atmosphere that these women are in. And there's so many sounds as, you know, as a Caribbean person that kind of create the sense of nostalgia or bring me back to you know that time when I was a you know teenager and going out every night like there's certain sounds and that you hear that kind of bring that back that memory um, and so I think this score was really just about you know in a very simple way just tapping into to memories and tapping into like what felt you know right to what these women would be listening to or you know in the car or on you know the radio or what you might hear like playing down the street if you're actually walking down the streets of Port of Spain like what what sound might you hear, you know, would it be like Buju Bantan probably, or, you know, even sometimes it might be gospel, like, you know, like what what sounds you hear in the atmosphere itself. Mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of interested in, like, playing with sound, um, you know, in a kind of, um, like, from coming from natural sources, but also as a score, you know, yeah. like sounds that were, like, in the environment yeah, itself. In yeah. the Cine Martinique Festival, mm -hmm. uh, have you been uh, surprised mm -hmm. by uh, one movie or documentary or yeah um so i got in last night so i haven't seen anything yet okay um but i am really looking forward to seeing a couple of the films i know um my my French isn't that great, so my my limit my experience of some of the films might be limited. Um, but I heard that Damien Mercano's film mm -hmm. uh, showed, and he's also from Trinidad. And there's a, like an exciting wave of of films being made in Trinidad. I mean, like growing up, there was like one film called uh, BIM, a black exploitation kind of film set in the 70s, and that was kind of you know one film that we knew was set in Trinidad, but there was this absence that we all felt. And so in the last few years, there's really been a wave of filmmakers doing it on a very independent, in a very independent way. Um, so I, I was excited to see that that was in the festival. And, yeah. If uh, it is subtitled, mm -hmm. do you think uh, Trinidad people would come to the Martinique <laughs> Festival to discover yeah. the, the, the... Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think there's so much curiosity, mm. you know, especially, you know, there's this kind of divide that happens based on language, you know, like there's the English speaking Caribbean, the French speaking Caribbean, and like, I think there's so much curiosity that, you know, everyone has ar around each other's experience, yeah. and I feel like... And in, within yeah, the Caribbean. Mm -hmm, within the Caribbean, and right. we would love more exchange and more collaboration right. um, to get rid of these divides, you know, because they do feel kind of, they feel unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, we would be so powerful as a collective if we, if we kind of put our heads together and work together. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for mm -hmm. your time. No, thank um, you. <laughs> we, I can't wait to, to see uh, the movie uh, on Saturday, mm -hmm. Ship Paradise. Mm -hmm. Thank you and uh, congratulations for your, for your journey for, to, to mm -hmm. make that movie. Thank see you. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for this interview. <laughs> <laughs>